Jonathan Ray is our race leader. Top rack Rice Catalogu not close enough this time. Yeah, you can see how well Ray managed to exit that last corner to be able just to pull away from Top rack. Top rack breaks really deep into turn one, closes that gap in Jonathan Ray. Is he going to be close enough to try and make a move into turn four? That's where he's going to try and set it up. Jonathan Ray in front of top rack Raz Gatlioglu then as they head through the final lap with the number 54 chasing the number one. He looks down the inside, but he's not quite close enough. And what he doesn't want to risk is contact. He's in line for an excellent podium finish is the Turkish rider. Yeah, he's been on the podium for the last couple of rounds, but he wants that win. Is he going to be trying able to make that move into turn one? Pacetti can hardly look on. Heart in your mouth moment if you are Manuel Pacetti. Top rack Raz Gatlioglu goes down the inside into turn number eight. Ray with the switch back. Crucial in the context of the championship, he wants the big 25 points. We've got a last lap decider. Jonathan Ray is back in front, but top rack Raz Gatlioglu is pushing for all he's worth, and he goes to the inside on Ray. Ray manages to hold the position for now. Raz Gatlioglu is as loose as you like. He's going to give it 100% into the closing stages here. Yeah, top rack wants this. He's going to have to try and set the move up into turn 14, though, if he's going to be able to take this win from Jonathan Ray. Jonathan Ray, our race leader, he's worked so hard to get in front of top rack Raz Gatlioglu. The Turkish rider has proven he belongs at the front of the field, but it doesn't look as though he's going to get there. Jonathan Ray will break records to become the all-time highest point scorer in World Superbike, and he will cut the advantage held by Alvaro Bautista in this 2019 championship to just 16. Jonathan Ray is back on top in Mizano. Second over the line, top rack Raz Gatlioglu, brilliant effort. You look up on your screen now and you'll see one lap to go on the board that's hanging out over the top of the start and finish line. There it is, one lap to go. Bayliss is close enough this time into Mazzano 1. If he can just tag in there for his sake and be close enough out of those three fast left-handers, Bayliss can win this race. Well, it's Californian-style weather and the Californian kid is doing it now. Really enjoying his moment in the sun. The LM Ducati and Ben Bostrom have almost been faultless this race. He's had to fight for the win. He didn't get the best start, came through on Colin Edwards and didn't look back. Then his teammate threw the challenge at him. But time is running out for Troy Bayless. Boy, has this guy given us some anxious finishes. Out of the draft, he's on the right side this time. Down into the breaking zone, into Tremonto. Is it all over for Bostrom? Perhaps, because Bayless is looking strong. Bayless did it the right side this time. He keeps it nice and tight. He's still in front. As they come out of Tremonto, Bayless has done it, I think. Now it's going to be very, very different, difficult. The only chance that Bostrom has, I was going to say, he was into this corner now, Kircher, but it's not going to be there. Bayliss has got the lead, but he gets that Ducati sliding coming out of there, up towards the chicane, the arena chicane. And I think it's all over for Bostrom now because it's virtually impossible to make a pass in these last few corners. Curva del Rio is hard, but it is possible maybe here. This is his last opportunity into the left-hander. Curva del Rio, and he's not close enough. Bayliss, has he run a little wide? No, he's not. He's hugging the apex beautifully. They are just metres away from the finish line now. Bostrom, hard luck to him, but it's not over. Drifts wide, tries to set up an inside move. He's not going to be close enough. Troy Bayliss will get that fourth victory of 2001. The series leader extends his lead. Marvellous performance from Bayliss. What a sophisticated ride. We've had some fantastic racing around the world today. And here in Mazzano in Italy, it's just as good. Across the line comes Regis Laconi in the factory Ducati. The two-year older bike oh. of Frankie Keeley and the lot older in age in terms of experience. Frankie now on the final lap. Can he do it in front of his home fans here in Mazzano? The San Marino race is, of course, his home track and PSG, his team's home track. He would love nothing more. And look, he's right on the tail now. Surely he's going to have a go. And already they're catching. It looks like another back marker. That looks like, uh, well, it looks like Tozen for a second. It's not. But uh, they've got past him. James, where does he try? He's going to try. He's going to try. Uh, the finish of these lefts. Not oh, 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 look at him. He's got... No, up he has... the inside. Unbelievable stuff. Flat out in fifth gear now. These two, the he's Italian and the it. Frenchman, they've got to have a go. Down towards Tremonte for the last time here at Mazzano. Here comes Frankie Keeley. He takes the lead here in San Marino. <laughs> 
Unbelievable. Well, he's wow. done it. Regis, can he respond or will wow. he be just... I mean, I wonder what he'll think no, now. He, I don't think he can. I mean, also, let's not forget on that last lap, he did a 43.1. So, you know, again, he's another second quicker. You've seen him. Look at the distance he's put being... It's incredible. I mean, I bet Regis can't believe it. An 11-second lead and uh, taking on the last lap. Well, who'd have thought it? He started this race second into the first corner, then dropped back dramatically. We thought he had a problem mechanically, and then bit by bit by bit, he's clawed his way through and had a miraculous job of catching this man, Regis Laconi, who, let's remember, had an 11-second lead over literally everyone in the pack. He was comfortably headed for his second race win of the day. But no, Frank Kikili, the man from Bologna, said, no, thank you very much. I'm leading the championship, and I continue to do so as I come across the line. Frank Kikili <laughs> takes victory here in Mazzano. What an wow. historic victory it is. And that means that he will lead the championship going to Monza.